my brain can't take this many plot twists. It's full to capacity, and yet Ari Revelations wants to fill it up even more. A dangerous amount of story. Critical mass on the twists. But we need to do it. We need to continue on. We need even more. We need to learn the whole thing. As we enter chapter 10. But what happened last time? Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Director O'Brien. I think I put it all together. It was all smoke and mirrors orchestrated by yourself. We'll have to speed things up. Damn it. It's all a setup. What do you mean? Ah, uh, you pretty much got it. I'm glad I'm not paying you for nothing. I'll try to find a way to delay the sink. Roger that. We'll take care of the virus. Well done, PSAA. Your activities have been eye-opening. Morgan Lansdale. Hey, quit! You wanna die with your machines, idiot? Hold up! I'm on! Your destiny is in my hands. <laughs> right. Did Grinder and Jackass die? And what will happen in Tangled Webs? I mean, I was thinking more about the big space laser than a web metaphor. But uh, apparently we're gonna we're about to get hit with it. Or will we? I can dodge while reloading. <laughs> he never got the hint. What a drag. Maybe he's already taken, Jessica. Yeah, sure. Can we get started already? Sure. We've been through hell before. It's nothing new for us. Yeah, just like old times. The good old FBC. Yes? Was, was he looking at us? Oh no, looking at him. So, what's the plan? Get to the bridge, activate the bulwarks, and pray the ship stops sinking. Now that the power's back, we should be able to access the maintenance system. Okay. We should split up then. There's something I need to check on first. Okay, fine. I'll see you on the bridge. Yeah, just something. You know, just a thing. Doesn't really matter what it is. Alright, so... We're going back in time a bit. Back in time before we were going to be hit with the laser. Because we gotta get up to that bridge. Let's see, there are two floors. And yeah, the exit going that way is on the second. Would this go that way? Or is it the other way? And I... I don't remember. Jessica doesn't... Jessica's heart just doesn't seem in the mission if she is not with Chris, though. Stretching and bumping into him and all that. Okay, yes, we are going in the right way. She went somewhere else. Oh. Great. You again. Really sick to see in your face. Rachel is here.
we're heading heading forward. There was one more. Watch my remaining ammo. I need to watch it. So last time we encountered her, she took a lot of hits. Is she down? Oh no, she's getting she's getting back up. I was never sure whether or not we could actually take her down or if that was just not worthwhile. So, from here... I do have a, an item box here. Anything I should look at? Well, no, I cannot look at it. Because they're our friends. No, cannot look at it. Goes to the elevator. <clears throat> Do I want to go to the elevator? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Parker, where are you? I'm almost at the bridge. I'm already here. I'm going to start lowering the bulwarks. That was fast. You're just slow. And you owe me another dinner. That reminds me, I never got you that drink. That was a year ago. That's fine. You can make it all up to me in one big spending spree. <laughs> okay, fine. Just sit tight and I'll be there soon. It right there. Parker? The spy has infiltrated the BSAA. Morgan's more. And it may be you. That's what Raymond told me. What are you talking about? We don't have time to. Parker, subdue that woman. Raymond? How? Oh. But you. You were. <laughs> She's trying to activate the ship's self-destruct mechanism to destroy the evidence. What? <laughs> Guys, this is getting out of hand. Not funny. Come on. Say something. Parker, it's me. I can't trust you completely. Not yet. Put your gun down, Raven. You're too soft. Don't be fooled, Parker. Parker! Stupid men. I knew O'Brien had a lap dog. I'll tell Morgan it was you. Jessica! Don't worry about dinner. Now we're even. I'm sorry, Parker. Go after her. 
but you. Rip, go! I can't believe Jessica was a traitor. Her, her and her sweet ass. Both traitors. Working for Count Dooku all this time. But why? I mean, I guess that's another revelation we need to learn. We need to learn why, how could she possibly do this? That was a short section. Target. Start counting, Morgan. <laughs> Not the most original last words, but best of luck, gentlemen. Ah, uh, they pulled that little they pulled the, the trick on us with the other ship. It wasn't the Queen Zenobia blowing up. Right. First, we gotta get out of here. They like doing that trick. I'm on standby over the Queen Zenobia. Rendezvous on the foredeck. There's not much time, so get moving. Repeat. I am. I don't. I guess it's unintentional, but it is very comedic about how it appears Chris is slamming the doors on Jill. I know that's not how it's meant to be seen. <laughs> okay, that one didn't close. Chris, please. Chris is taking charge. The explosions have started. We're out of time. I'm jumping down. It keeps happening. Oh, something there? There is something there. Anything here? Doesn't seem like it. Oh no, we're separated. I'm okay, but I can't get through. I'll find a way around and meet up with you. I can't squeeze through that. Parker. Oh. Hi, dear. Can you stand, Parker? <sighs> Thanks, Jill. Jill, could you maybe, uh, scan... Jessica, show me. She's working for Morgan. 
Jessica. Could you scan some enemies and maybe get a pill to pop out of that Genesis? I can't, oh, I can't, I can't use my Genesis right now. I can't use it now. We're not getting past that. All right, let's use it now. Shit. Can't we turn it off or something? This game has a few things like that. Walk towards the door. Then there's steam, but now let's walk back to the button and hit the button. Okay, I can't, I can't use my gun. We did a, a similar thing with the fingerprint lock previously, where there was a lock... We walk into the next room. There's a computer to scan our fingerprint. Hello. Explain later. Just back me up for now. Roger that. I'll take the lead. Follow me. Can't, I don't understand why he didn't trust Raymond. Raymond seems so trustworthy. Chris, you may not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Chris, please. I'm carrying Parker here. <laughs> wow <laughs> he's a he's a large man Parker. Not Parker. First grinder and jackass, and now Parker? How many people do we need to lose? We're out of time. Damn you, Count Dooku. It's all his fault. All his doing. Damn. Oh, up there. Slide the mouse back and forth. It's a weird motion to make for the QTE.
99. Almost there. I can't I can't actually go through until it closes. Uh, well, it was heading to the right. I guess I should probably shoot them. What do you mean, worry about her later, Chris? There's no one to worry about now. Well, that is the unfortunate fate of any and all helicopter pilots in the Resident Evil series. Um, well, I mean, you might occasionally get lucky, like Barry piloting the helicopter at the end of RE3, or Brad piloting it at the end of RE1. But for the most part, if someone comes in piloting a helicopter, they're not making it out. It's the it's the worst place to be, apparently. And Chris and Jill were almost off the ship, but then the big chonky boy arrived, and that certainly does look like a last boss, if I've ever seen one. But, uh... Before we could take him on, episode 10 ends. Quite a short chapter. And considering the way this game likes to do things, the way it likes to do business, I can only assume that when we start chapter 11, it, we're not doing that boss fight, but it's gonna, like, go do something else. Because that's the way this game works. It really likes to drag things out as long as it is humanly possible. Uh, and I can only assume the reason that that chapter ended before doing the boss fight is because chapter end, chapter 11 will not be the boss fight. But the positive thing is that 
if we're going to cut from Chris and Jill to go look at someone else in Chapter 11, that does increase the chances that Grinder and Jackass are still alive, because who else would we be cutting to? You gotta got figure out the way Resident Evil Revelations thinks. And I, I assume that when we begin the next chapter, that our good friends Grinder and Jackass will be here. But we can see that we are quickly rushing our way into the end game because this chapter was uh, probably the shortest one so far. I'm pretty sure it was the shortest. It seems like the chapters now are, are generally shorter than they were previously. Because of the fast pace as we approach, you know, the climax. I don't think we're going to have any more, like, exploration anymore, especially since the Queen Zenobia is blowing up. There's nothing to explore. Only final confrontations. But are we actually going to have, like, a confrontation with Count Dooku? Like, he's just in his office somewhere, right? Like, he's not going to be on the boat, I would expect, because why would he be? Like, he's just going to be off in his office building. I don't know. Are we going to go assassinate him in the end? I... I can't tell. Well, maybe Columbo will leave his office and go kill Dooku. Maybe that's maybe that's what will happen while we're off fighting monsters on the boat. Um all right, revelations, revelations. I mean, I I, I guess really the only thing that we have left to revelate is is there a particular reason why Count Dooku did it? Is it just money? I mean, I can think we can just assume it's that, but I, I would like to get just some definitive statement from the man as to why he bothered to do all this. Maybe we'll get that before we're done. Maybe we will. As we continue on with Resident Evil Revelations. Chris and Jill are back together, um, fighting a boss. I mean, I guess that's kind of like that's it was. I guess that was kind of like the big deal about this game, right? That this would have been was this this would have been the first. Well, I mean, RE5, Jill is not like. I mean, Jill's in the game, but I mean, this was a char this was a game where Chris and Jill were both like playable characters frequently throughout the game. So I guess maybe like a big maybe a selling point of the game is Chris and Jill teaming up again. I suppose. And that's how we're going to end the game as our other partners, Parker, one, is dead, and two, Jessica, is a traitor. I guess Jessica needs to show up again, right? Jessica needs to show up so we can have a fight. I don't know. Are we going to fight her? Because frequently you don't really fight. You don't usually fight human bosses. Like, sometimes it happens. But in Resident Evil, if you fight a human they're probably going to inject themselves with, like, the virus and turn into a monster. So maybe we'll, maybe Jessica will become a monster, and maybe we'll fight her. I don't know. Not. It seems like there's not too much we really could do for the end of Resident Evil Revelations. There's finding out about Grinder and Jackass. There's fighting the big chonky boy. There's probably fighting Jessica, and then maybe Columbo will go shoot Count Dooku. Maybe that's how we wrap up the revelations as we continue. <laughs>